Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to um, set up the USB drive, the flash drive for the PlayStation 4 fix. Um, I get a lot of comments on this. People seem to have issues uh, setting up the flash drive or doing it wrong. So this is just basically going to show you how to set up the flash drive. Okay guys, so let's get started. So I have a Again, you don't need anything that big. This one is an 8 gig uh, flash drive. So what I'm going to do is right click on it. Let's go to format. So on some of the devices, I've noticed EXFAT worked better than FAT32 default. I had other PlayStations that worked better with the flat FAT32. So... I've noticed the EX fat. Uh, it seems like the PlayStation picks it up a lot quicker. But if that one doesn't work, reformat it to uh, FAT32. I'm going to format it to the EX. Over here, you can name it whatever you want or just leave it blank. I'm just going to name it PS4. Start. It's going to erase everything on there. Okay, let's close that. Let's open this up. Okay, first things first. Right click, new, we have to make a folder. Okay, you're gonna name this folder, all in caps, PS4. Four. Okay, before I do anything else, I'm gonna do this, because this is where the part where it seems like everybody keeps uh, messing up on, so. We're going to do another folder, and this one, we're going to name it Update, all in caps as well. Update. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take the Update. No, I'm not going to do that yet. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, we're going to go to my other video. So here's my other video that... Uh, that I made. This is the one that everybody keeps asking me questions on. So I'm, I'm doing this video strictly for here. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down. So here's my two files. So this one here is just the update and it does work, but nine out of 10, it doesn't work. When it doesn't work, you go down to this guy. This one here will work. It's almost a hundred percent. I always got them to work. The only problem is it this one here will reset your PS4. So you're going to lose all the information you have on there, but it will fix this problem that you're having. Uh, this problem right here. Okay, so right now I'm going to click on that. Once you click on it, it should automatically start the download.
Okay guys, so the file just finished downloading. So what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna drag it over here. Don't open it. I'm gonna, so what we're gonna do is drag it here. I'm gonna let it upload. Once again, it's a big file, so. All right, so now we grab this file. We're gonna move it into the update. Now we're gonna grab the update folder, shove it in the PS4. Okay, guys, so if I click on here, there's my update. If I click on there, there's my file. Oh because I did download this before so it's showing me that that has to be removed if it's the first time you guys downloading it you guys don't have to worry about that but you got to make sure this is what is in that folder exactly as shown if not because I downloaded more than once, that's why it's showing me this. I'm just doing this just to show you guys how to do it. So it's got to be like this, or else the PlayStation will not recognize it. And that was in one of the comments I had below was that uh, their system can pick it up because they had that one next to it because they downloaded more than one version. So make sure it stays like that. So that's once again in the updated for update file and the update file is in the ps4 okay guys hopefully that answers any of your questions on how to set up the usb or the flash drive if you guys still have any problems or you guys are still having problems and you guys have any other questions please comment below and i'll do my best to answer it thanks for watching and uh please subscribe